Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So quite some time ago, I placed an order with a local sawmill and received some cedar cookies that I intended to make into end tables. At that time, I also ordered some cedar planks to make into some cutting boards or some charcuterie boards as well as a walnut slab that I intended to make into an end table or a side table as the case may be. So I've already made the walnut side table. Uh, I have a video that I will post if you would like to check that out. And this video is the cedar end table video. Now, in all fairness, I did purchase these blanks probably about a year ago. So it's taken that long to get the project done. Now a little bit because the blanks needed to dry and a little bit because it just was really low down on the priority list. And I did intend to make these tables before the summertime and here we are in fall, <laughs> uh, almost Thanksgiving, and I just finished them. Nevertheless, it was a fun build and I am going to show you the video of it and uh, do a voiceover and walk you through the project and then we'll wrap it up at the end. All right, stay tuned. Here I am unboxing the cookies and the slabs. On top you'll find the cedar cookies and then the charcuterie boards and then the walnut slab on the bottom. This is me taking the bark off of the cookies. These cookies have been sitting for a while so the bark came off pretty easily so they were nice and dry. Started with the belt sander to smooth things out and kind of get it flat. I started out with 60 and then moved up to 80 and then moved to 120 on the belt sander before I pulled out the random orbit sander and then I sanded the rabbit, random orbit sander here uh, with 220 to smooth everything out very nice. I did the edge a little bit. Uh, I had some trouble with my random orbit sander here where the sandpaper kept flying off on the edges. I guess I needed a new uh, hook pad for the sander here. Blew everything down, got all the dust off, cleaned everything up as best as I could. I used epoxy for this first pour here. In hindsight, I should have sealed it first because the epoxy really sepped into the end grain a lot and left some ridges which I had to sand smooth later. But ultimately epoxy made the finish look fantastic. It's super smooth and shiny and really amazing in the end. So this is actually the underside where I used a little bit of polyurethane to kind of uh, cover up the underside. Again, should have sealed it first because it took uh, five coats of polyurethane to get uh, nice and smooth. This is me unboxing the legs that we bought for the tables. I decided to put three legs per table instead of four like original plan. Uh, it just fits better with these round cookies, about four inches from the center each leg is. Screwed them in and that's it. So this is the money shot. These are the cookies after they were finished and sanded smooth. You can see not perfectly smooth because of the epoxy flowing into some of the pores, but they still look super amazing. love how the sun just glimmers on the top of these tables here when they're outside. Again, turned out super shiny, sh super smooth. Going to be very weather resistant with the combination of epoxy and polyurethane that I used. Okay, well I hope you liked that. It was a super fun project to do. A little bit of preparation, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of finishing, put the table legs on and you are good to go. I will leave links below to all the products that I used for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but in the comment section, tell me why you didn't like it and we can make future videos better. All right, that's it. Don't forget to be subscribed, ring the bell, very important as days, and be inspired.